Hello everybody and welcome to Uprising again. Today we're going to be talking about my personal experience with hydrogen and also experience that other people that I know, the experiences they have had, kind of a collaboration of it all. This is actually a video I'm making due to requests that I've had from some people. So this is what I'm going to start out with. When I started using hydrogen, I wouldn't say there's anything like crazy dramatic, like all of a sudden you feel like you're 18 again or anything like that. Um, and I think one thing that's important to understand about the way that hydrogen works, I think that it works a lot like the way that we age. You don't go from being 18 years old to being 90 years old. It doesn't happen that fast. Given that hydrogen does actually act very rapidly, like I'll throw one little study out there from Japan where they were showing that one of the longest things to regenerate in the body is actually the nerves. And it can take like three years for a nerve to just barely grow. And when they were using hydrogen, it would grow that same amount in one year. So it was triple the speed as far as regeneration. But again, you know, that's not necessarily saying that hydrogen is going to make you, again, 18 years old overnight. So when I first started using hydrogen, I didn't necessarily notice like anything crazy dramatic. The one thing I did personally notice was that I started urinating more. I started going to the, you know, going pee more. And that only happened for about one or two weeks. Eventually I found out that what was happening was <coughs> when you have a bunch of oxidative stress in your body and hydrogen bonds to this oxidative stress, it turns to water and you, you pee more. And that was only for the first couple of weeks. After that, the things I started noticing, one of the funny ones that happened to me and one, two, three, four, I think like five or six other people, I don't really remember exactly the number, but it happened to all of us. And that was when you would have to wake up at night to go to the bathroom. Um, I spoke about it a little bit on other videos, but basically I used to probably wake up about, I don't know, once or twice in order to go to the bathroom. I knew somebody who was waking up something like five times a night to go to the bathroom. Um, I believe it took about two or three months. I don't remember the exact number. This was, a, this was over a year ago, but the experience ultimately that they had was that as we use the hydrogen water, I don't get up to go to the bathroom at all anymore at, at all. And it's kind of a wonderful thing that, that has obviously happened. Even, even when I wake up, because a lot of times I sleep outside, I, I actually have a tent outside where I sleep. And when I sleep outside, um, I'll wake up. Sometimes I wake up at five in the morning, six in the morning, whatever the time is that I want to wake up. And sometimes I'll lay in bed for like half an hour, an hour. You know, sometimes I'll go back to bed for a couple hours. The point is, is that I'll literally be laying in bed and you know, I feel like I have to go to the bathroom. I know my bladder is full, but I can just hold it. And I've never had that kind of like power and strength that I can just hold it and have a lot of control. So that was kind of one interesting thing. And I know that a lot of other people have been saying the same thing as, as far as people that I personally know who have been drinking the hydrogen water. It really certainly has helped a lot with inflammation again with people that I know and myself. Um, one of the interesting stories was actually for my mother. My mother used to drink, she, she would literally get dehydrated so easily. She would drink, she had to drink Gatorade. Otherwise she would get dizzy and feel weak and, and she needed to drink Gatorade. And I, I used to tell her, mom, you need to drink water. And she would drink water and she said, it just won't do it for me. And I still feel this dizziness and I don't feel good. I don't feel quite right. She's quite sensitive to these things and she just needed the Gatorade. And she used to do this for a long time. And then eventually when I got her on the hydrogen water, after a while, she's completely off the Gatorade. She's been off the Gatorade for over a year. And, you know, I used to tell her how bad it was, but she needed it. And this is the big thing that I've noticed, not just with her, with myself, with other friends, people that I know, is that it hydrates you. Now this is, I mean, it hydrates you so good. I mean, in Japan, they use it for professional athletes. They've proven scientifically that it just hydrates you like no other. And you have to understand that hydration can change everything. I mean, being properly hydrated is a huge thing. I actually have a friend who, who has a Lourdes and he didn't, I mean, he noticed some differences, but he noticed the biggest difference when he no longer had the unit. Um, he was, he did some things to the unit. He ended up breaking his unit by accident. 
And once he was without the unit, he noticed how much it was doing for him. And you know, life is like that a lot. You know, you don't notice this one tooth in your mouth until it's gone. And all of a sudden you're like, oh, I'm trying to chew and I don't, I don't have this tooth. Or you don't even notice your, uh, your leg. You know, once it's gone or both your legs, that's when you notice it. And so the moment that the Lourdes was gone, he started realizing that he wasn't properly hydrated. And then he started not even sleeping that well. And that was, that brings me to one of the other points that I noticed even for myself was somehow it balanced me more. I was getting better sleep, sleeping at the proper times. It was just somehow balancing more. I know I also had faster recovery time from different things that I was doing. Um, and these are just some of the things, you know, some of my own experiences. I know that through some of the blood work that I was doing, that it was giving me much better absorption. I know that's also another scientific fact. You get greater absorption of your nutrients. And that's something that's really important. I actually kind of have a funny story about a doctor that I was going to see and they were telling me that they just knew that I was gonna be deficient because of the way that I eat. You know, I, I really am, I'm, I eat a vegan diet and, and I kind of change my diet around and I do little things with it based on things that I read and just my own gut instincts. But I was doing a certain diet, my doctor did not agree with it, and they wanted me to have my blood checked because they just knew that I was going to be deficient in something. Once they got the results back, my doctor was shocked because they were like, you're not deficient in anything. It's, it's kind of hard to believe. And this particular doctor believed a lot in the whole paleo diet. And I actually asked my doctor, out of all your patients, how many of them follow your, your diet protocol? And she was telling me something around like 98% or 99% of all her patients. Most of them follow the diet protocol. And I said, out of all these patients, how many have you shown to be deficient in their blood work? And she said, well, over 95% of them. And I was thinking, well, most of your patients are deficient and they're following your advice. I just thought that was weird. And I was going against her advice and I was not deficient. And I thought that was really kind of odd and, you know, I didn't, I didn't really want to get in a whole heated argument about it because she obviously disagreed with what I was doing and that was okay. I just wanted the science of it all. I wanted to look at my blood work and I personally believe that it has a lot to do with the hydrogen because one of the things that happens as you get older is you just don't get the proper absorption anymore. So that was one of the things that I, that I really felt has, it has benefited me in, uh, in many ways. And I notice it the most also when I'm without the water. Sometimes I'll go on a trip and I just won't take the machine with me. And I mean, you start noticing it within a week. But as far as when you first get on it, you don't necessarily, I mean, you'll notice it, but it's not going to be so big, so dramatic that it's going to make, you know, a huge difference. So I wanted to just share some of my experiences with hydrogen water, mostly because people were asking me, and they're like, why don't you make a video and tell us how you felt? Those are the things that I personally felt from it. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video and we'll see you next time. Oh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And I'll bring you all the information that I can that I'm always finding about hydrogen and maybe some other things here and there. But again, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time on the next video.